Susan Spillman, to talk a little more today about identifying feelings, I'd like to show you the end of the Magical You game that I showed you in the uh, Overwhelm video. So the, the last part of this game is how would we like to feel? So it's identifying how we want to feel moving forward. How do we want to feel? And what are those feelings? So I'll just show you some cards we have about that. So we have uh, happy, loved, brave, strong, special, and safe. And we also have blank cards so that you can put in whatever feeling you'd like. And so this is very important in terms of identifying feelings. We can identify feelings that we want to release uh, that are bothering us. And we also can identify feelings of how we want to feel and where we want to move towards. And so this is the last part of the game. And whether we use it in the game or whether we just think about this idea that it's important and helpful to focus on where do we want to feel? Well, how do we want to feel? Where do we want to go in our life? And people are very different with this as to where they want to go. Uh, but nonetheless, it's helpful for, any, for everyone to do this. And just to show you in the game, what we do with this is we hold these feelings up. So if I pick special and safe, we hold these feelings up above our head and then we look at the feelings and really feel this way right now. So I'm feeling special and safe right now and letting myself feel that way and enjoying that, enjoying that feeling. And then we bring those feelings into our body so that we can feel special and safe inside. People do this in different ways. Some people can't do it at all. Uh, if they've been highly traumatized uh, in their life. Uh, but most people can do it to some extent. And then we also take a picture of these, feel of these cards uh, so that you can carry this with you or use it as a screensaver or whatever to remind you that really what we're aiming for is how do we want to feel? You know, how is it we want to feel and moving towards that? Susan Spillman.